All right, everyone. If you are getting this video, it means we still have to take our functions skills quiz, which is our first skills quiz of the unit uh, that we did a few weeks ago. This is different than our composition of functions skills quiz, which uh, we just took last week. And if you forgive my voice, I'm starting to lose it, uh, so just bear with me. Uh, anyway, this is a review. Uh, once you uh, watch this as much as necessary, and then you'll take uh, another version of this skills quiz functions. It's just basically identifying functions, the very base function, and everything for you. Once again, <coughs> sorry my voice is so bad. Okay, the first two questions are asking, um, giving you some data to see if it's a function or not. Sometimes we have data in a graph, and any time that we have a, a downwards parabola or an upwards parabola, it's going to be a function because it's going to pass the vertical line test. Draw a vertical line anywhere, and if it only touches once, it is definitely a function, so yes. For example, if you had, here's a graph, if you had like a circle, and if you draw a vertical line test here, boom, boom, up, oh, it touches twice, that is not a function. So that's just an example right there. All right, so now we have a set of data. Uh, X's and Y's, 6, 7, 3, negative 2, 8, 8, negative 6, 2, 2, negative 6. Asking if these plot points, because these are these are coordinate points, X comma Y, uh, to see if these represent a function. And a trick to know about this, whenever we have coordinate points or data points right here, if there's never any repeating X values, it definitely will be a function. Right? Because there's no there's no chance for one of the X's to have two different Y's. Each X value only has one y value. So that's a function. All right, moving on. We are evaluating functions. There's two different types. Uh, here we have just one single function, g of x equals 7x minus 3. There's two different ways that we can interpret this function. One, g of x is 25. Whenever there's no numerical value inside the parentheses right here, well, that just basically means g of x equals y. Uh, g of x equals 25, and this means that g of x also from up here equals 7x minus 3. Basically, when there's no numerical value, you put these two equal to each other. If g of x, think about it, if g of x equals 25, and g of, s all, g of x also equals 7x minus 3, well, if it equals one and equals the other, well, take away the g of x, and you set them equal to each other. And then you're just going to solve for x. What's my input? So basically, what this means here is that we are given the output, we are solving for x, which means solving for the input, solving for x. So basically, two-step equation here. Let's cancel out. I have 28 equals 7x. Well, I'm running out of room, but divide by 7 on both sides, x equals 4. So you have an example of that on the quiz. 1, you're going to set equal to each other. And 1, oh, here we go, evaluate here. Notice it's not a g of x, but now a g of negative 5. That negative 5 means that is our x value. That is our input. So that means 7x minus 3. We're going to plug in that negative 5 into the x. All right. 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. Negative 35 minus 3 is negative 38. So that just tells us when our input is negative 5 into this function, our output, or our y value, is negative 38. So when you're solving putting them equal to each other and solving. One, you're inputting the x value and then just evaluating. All right. Almost done. Uh, here we're just matching the parent graphs. Whenever we have an upwards parabola, it touches the origin. That is our x squared graph. Whenever we have this, uh, it's kind of a weird looking shape almost like half of a parabola, but it's just one. It starts at the origin. That is our square root of x function. 
And whenever we have a linear function, it goes through the origin, increasing slope of 1. That is just our linear x. So x squared, square root of x, and then x. Finally, we are given a graph, and what this means is basically interpreting a, gra a graph. We want to know what our y value is when our x value is 0. Well, let's look on this graph. When our x value is 0, there's only one x, and that's right here. What is our y value? Oh, well, it goes to the origin, so our y value is 0. If you want to put that as a coordinate point, it's 0, comma, 0. x value is 0, y value is 0. And then finally, Here's our x value of negative 2. Well, where's negative 2? Up oh, right here. What is our y value of the graph when x is negative 2? Well, look up or down. Oh, it's right here. So our y value is, let's see, it goes up 2 right there, so positive 2. x value of negative 2. Oops. y value of positive 2. x value negative 2, y value 2. It goes up 2, so be careful to look at the graph. Don't just put 1. So that is, as a coordinate point, negative 2, comma 2. All right. There is our quiz review for you guys to review, and then uh, take it when you're done.